So we are dedicating the morning to the Louvre, where we are now. The Louvre used to be a medieval fortress. In fact, some of you might remember in uh, the very rich hours of the Duke of Berry, in one, the, the month of uh, October, you have the Seine and in the background a Gothic fortress. That's the old. Now this is the new one which is now used for uh, mainly a museum. From 480 to 450 is considered a severe period and then the highly classical period. probably remember this again from your book, the famous Avignon Pietà. Although you see a name there, we are not sure really who painted it. Um, this is the donor, and then you have the usual figures, St. John, Mary, and Mary Magdalene, with the body of Christ. It is beautiful for the following reasons. First of all, you see much gold in the background. That is typical of early art and heritage from Byzantine art. In the background you see the Eiffel Tower, which was built for uh, last century. And as you know, many people of the day protested against such a monstrosity, including uh, Garnier, the one who designed the opera. He signed uh, a petition about dismantling the tower. When the lease uh, expired, there was another movement to tear it down. But many poets and artists of later day, including Apollinaire, for instance, uh, Cocteau, they defended the tower and so on. It is. Wait. I think that 
Okay. Who remembers the date uh, of the cathedral? 1163. 1163. Oh, I like it a lot. You were about to say that. 20 years after Abbot Suger started building in the so called modern style, which was then the Gothic style. You recognize the three partitions, both vertical and horizontal ones. You see the buttresses, which are those uh, spur-like walls on either side to support the walls. You see the three portals. Each one of them is a trumeau, which is the column in the center. Above you have the tympanum. Then you have the row of statues and the rose window. And then a very um, gentle and elegant arcade below the towers. Miss Baker's question, we are in France. That's where Versailles is. She was asking, where are we? You are in Versailles, where all the world seems to be convening. This castle is in Baroque style. As I told you, in French art history, that is called the style of Louis XIV and the XV. The style that developed under Louis XVI is that is Rococo. So you have Baroque, which we call classical, it's French style and Rococo. The king that you see on your right is Le Roi Soleil himself, Louis XIV. You know. There was in the zenith, in the highest point of uh, uh, Versailles, only about 1,000 nobles. People, nobility living here. To serve them, listen to the figures that you find in books that usually are acceptable. 9,000 soldiers to protect them. 5,000 servants housed in the palace. How many limos? And here in the palace itself were 5,000 people living, of which 1,000 were nobility and 4,000 servants.